What's good with your boys? It's your boy, yo, DJ14, and we're back at it with another video, another banger, because today we are bringing up the build, the 6 7 dribble. God! Something everybody's been asking for on my TikTok page. If y'all haven't already, go put a follow button on my TikTok page. Also, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. This is a come up, guys. Let's gonna get into the video now. We're gonna show you guys the build. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get this video to at least 15 likes. Share this to everybody you know, your mommy, grandma, everybody you know, you dig? Let's build this ISO community up now. So for the dribble guy, I made his position shooting guard height, 6'7", weight 235, wingspan 7'4". 6'7 is a sweet spot for me for the tall guard. I like it. You get you're way fast under compared to any other height. 6'6 six, six is cool, but I just prefer 6'7. Six, the weight at 235 is because you're able to get burly as your body type if you go to the Gatorade enough. And your wingspan 7'4 is to get that 87 block and be able to lock down them bigs down low. So we're gonna be able to get some defense on the defensive side. Let's start off with the finishing category for our driving dunk. I put it at 89. Yes, 89. And the reason I put it at 89 is because you're able to get off two pro contact dunks and off one contact dunks. And you got to have the vert at 878, but I put it at 80. And you guys will see later why I put it at 80. 80 is a big key to the game. And I'm able to be able to get chase down artists on gold if I have an 87 block. And that is why I went with the 7-4 wingspan. It's a perfect spot. My driving layup, I put it at a 76. And the reason why I get my Acrobat Silver, you know, it's a great spot to get some jelly animation layups. And then you're able to get that Zion, that Zion layup package. It's smooth for Euros. Also for scoops, it's really nice. I like, the, I like the attribute. It's really good. I like the animation. It's really good for you if you are a tall guard. I could have went 80, but I like the 76 better so I can get other stuff in other categories. Now let's get into the shooting category. Three point. I went with a 79. Yes, a 79. And the reason I did a 79 is because I'm comfortable shooting with a 79 three ball. I know my jump shot very well and it's not different enough. My mid range is at an 84. And the reason I put it at an 84 is because I get that dead eye silver. As you see, it's at an 82. I don't get it at silver, but at an 84, I do. So I put it at an 84 for today. It's going to be able to help me shoot more, get some more contested shots from the front. And also, I have blinder silver. Free throw, I was looking at I was like, uh, do I really have to touch this category? Not really. So I really just left it alone for now. Maybe later on if I have another category for later or more points for later. I use it to that. But now, forget it. We'll worry about it later. Now, let's get into the ball handle category. So I went with the 88 ball handle. Yes, the 88. And the reason is because you get Kobe animations. And it's something I am working on right now to use. I'm trying to get used to it. I'm trying to see what moves I can make out of it and what um, moves I can learn from it. So it's a learning process right now. 87 is the sweet spot though. You go 87, 88, you get killer combo silver and ankle breaker gold. It's a sweet spot. 85 is also cool, but I like to have killer combo silver. Speed with ball, I went with minimum requirement 75. 75 is the sweet spot for a tall guard. You move quick either way. You're also the combo up still, and you're also fast to the paint. So it's nothing, it's not a downside of having a 75. 83 is cool for other tall guards, but preferably I like 75. Pass accuracy, I went with a 63. And the reason I put 63 is just to be able to get a pass off. I'm not really looking to like give it like a diming pass, but 63, I can make a read with that at all times. It's not a bad spot for it. Now going into the defensive category, I went with an interior. I went with an 82. And the reason I did 82 is because once I put my strength up, I'm gonna get post lockdown silver. And that's for all the bigs who like to post up, post hook, post drop you. If you're a small guard or a tall guard, that's like six, seven and below. Man, try it now because I'm gonna lock you down no matter what. You're not gonna get that off me every time. I'm gonna stop you. And with I get my block up right now, and I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna get every stop every time. Not every time, but at least every time because it's gonna work every single time in my favor. And then I'm gonna go with perimeter defense. I went with the 87. And the reason I did 87 is because you see, you get challenger gold. And I like challenger gold because you'll be able to contest more shots and be able to get more stops on defense with that, with a high three ball shot. My steal, I left it alone because I don't like to reach as much. I play good defense alone. And as you see, with the 80 vert, I get that chase down artist silver with an 87 block 
86 I don't get it 87 I get that I get anchor silver so it's a good spot for me also with my post lockdown to have anchor silver and my chase down gold my defensive rebound I went with a 70 because with the 80 vert I'm gonna be able to jump out the gym to be able to get a rebound over a big most of the time not all the time if they have a high rebound but it's in my favor if I box them out I'm most likely gonna get that rebound from them so it's a good spot for you. You'll need to go higher or lower. But if you're a guard, if you want to get it higher, that's cool. Just I would say just lower your interior a little bit, but 870 is a sweet spot. For my physics, I went with a speed. I went with an 81. It's the minimum requirement for speed booster at silver. It's the sweet spot for me. I like it there. It's good for me. I'm fast at that, so I don't need to put it any higher or any lower. My acceleration, I went with a 74. I could have went 73 because it's the minimum requirement for speed booster and for everything else to get silver, but 74, I put it there because it was an extra one I had in that category. For my strength, I put it at a 78 because I get post lockdown silver, and I was talking to you guys about that earlier. So it's my sweet spot. Stamina maxed out because I'm a dribble god. I need my stamina, man. And then I was having that last category, and I was telling you guys about my free throw earlier, so I just threw it there. I didn't really need to know where else. Nothing else was really going to help me. So that's the bill, guys. This is the max point of the 99 overall dribble. God, this is one of my favorite builds, guys. I use this build nearly every day. He's only at 99, but he's going to get up there. These are the comparisons now. They've compared me to three players are going to be Derek White, Jalen Green, and J.R. Smith. They had called me a shot creating three-level threat. Man, we know what it's supposed to be called. It's really supposed to be called the Dribble God. I like this build, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you guys make the build and see how good it is. You guys have a good rest of your day and get buckets. And let's grow this ISO community. Keep going, y'all.